Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to our Battle Cry 3 100% playthrough. Uh, I should have given a look at what the hero stats are at right now, and our skills and our titles, and so on. Last episode, we got the Frost Dragon Ragnar <laughs> recruited into our party. We're probably never gonna take him into any normal battle, because number one, he's not as useful as the Archon. Number two, he's so expensive that in most battles we wouldn't even have the option to take him. So really, the only way I could see us leveling him up is if we go into a skirmish and I just like spend an entire episode grinding him up, getting him to, you know, 1500 experience, and then we can say we maxed him, you know, gave him max level, but for now we're just gonna leave him like it is, uh, like he is right now. Well, what we are gonna do though is we're gonna start out with a joust. Normal difficulty is fine. Uh, hang on a second. Normal difficulty is fine, and uh, we'll, you know, just to warm up and, you know, just to make sure I've got my keys set. There we go. Go in for a quick, a quick joust. So, what do we have? We've got a paladin, a thief, a defiler. Let's do it in this order. That guy took quite a few hits to take down. Showing you that these combat oriented heroes, paladins, warriors, and so on, do get pretty tanky as we get higher up in levels and we're approaching level 60 and I'm gonna have a pretty big decision to make when we hit level 60 which is am I going to keep leveling or am I gonna stop there are arguments to be made on both sides. I'm leaning towards freezing my hero level. Just because I don't want uh, enemy heroes to scale too much out of control. Alright. Now, I did say we would spend this episode investigating some... Uh, repeatable battles in this part of the map. Let's start with Kazbarak. So this mission is an assassination mission. Uh, that means that it's gonna like a side will get eliminated if its hero gets killed. We could like we could do it but uh, you know if all we want to do is kill heroes then a better way is to do the joust and it's not really suitable for a long battle either for the you know obvious reason that once you kill an enemy hero the side gets killed and enemies will eventually get their hero killed by doing something dumb before you know they can oh well oh. why do I keep doing that I guess we're stuck doing this one now all right let's Let's do this assassination mission, because evidently I don't know how to click. Alright. Alright, it's fine. Maybe we'll get some quest buildings along the way. But what I wanted to show you was the other mission. the uh, Just the one-off battle against the plague, where you can potentially get a nice long battle out of it. This is 
This is the assassination one, right? I guess we'll find out as soon as we encounter an enemy hero. And I brought my uh, Minotaur King with me because uh, he is very good at... Dealing with heroes because he ignores armor, and of course, he is fully leveled up as well. I, yeah, let's get some resources just in case we run into some some quest buildings. I didn't get the gold mine because we can theoretically get gold by assassinating. Right. Well. We've at least found a base Ooh, and some sort of a conglomeration of enemies. Let's just focus down the hero. And yep, that has eliminated their side. Okay, as I suspected. Now we'll get these, uh, get these mines. And uh, even though we're not really going to... Oh, really? There's no room? Yes, master. Really? There's no room. Alright. I guess now we can go in this direction. We're going to counterclockwise motion, sweeping through and killing everything. What the hell are you trying to do? Oh, no, I want my hero to get all these. Uh... Yep, you are eliminated, and we do have quests, so that's good at least. All right, what what do we have? Two, what? Uh, no, this is so there. Is, okay, let me explain this quest. It's to kill a specific kind of unit. And this means that somewhere on the map there's a demon. That's what has caused this to be a possible quest. The problem with this is we could take this quest and before we find and kill the demon, somebody else could kill it. And then if there's no other way for some enemy to summon a demon, That'll make the quest uncompletable. For that reason, I won't do it. And also, it's also a very not convenient quest to do, even if you are guaranteed to do it. This one's so much better. Just one and done. Rather than, you know, scouring this entire unexplored map looking for a... Ooh demon that may or may not even still be there by the time you're ready to deal with it. What are you? Pretty sure there's a... You are a chieftain, which means... Oh, oh well, I, I guess the demon was right here. Although... It despawned after killing the hero, so we... Uh, if we didn't react quickly, we would have probably still lost our chance to do anything with it. Anyway, so that's all about that thing. Uh, oh, there's another quest building. We should definitely investigate that on the way back. Your troops are under My what now? Uh, uh, that's fine. You can just... You can just do that. You can just be in the safety in the middle of those three towers. Okay, hostile gnolls. I tell, I tell you what, why don't you deal with this? Warrior, huh? I tell you what, let's... Why don't you deal with the warrior? Right, 
let me save. Because you're going to have to kill a uh, leveled up null. And I did not want to have any mishaps. Alright. Get some of your health back. What is this? Ice Queen? Isn't this... Isn't this an item that an we got as a quest reward? Well, uh, oh, we didn't even get to see what the other quest was. Let me look at our item stash. I, no, that's the Fey Harp. Oh, it's a different kind of... It's a different kind of harp. This one would go in one of these slots. Yeah, it's not that great. All right. The, n the other thing we can do is the war against plague mission. Now for this one, we're not doing long battles in this episode, so it's fine if we don't play as the Empire. We'll just play as the Minotaurs. Because I just want to see, get some basic information on this map. Like, the fact that we can't bring our Minotaur King, that's good information to have. But also, like, is there Fog of War? How big is the map? Okay, it's a pretty small map. How many opponents are there on the map? Possibly three, maybe two. And it being a random map, you know, we can't really say much about where the resources are going to be, where our towers are going to be. That's all going to be random, but we can at least get a sense of uh, some of the other map details. Alright. Who the hell is our... S okay, there it is. Yeah. Our resources aren't that badly distributed, but sometimes you can get screwed over pretty badly with the with random maps. And again, for some odd reason, I think it happens when you load the game. Like, for some reason, the game will just switch off sound effects. And, uh, excuse me? What the? Oh, hang on. I'm gonna have my hero deal with them, because maybe we'll get some assassinations. Although assassinations aren't as important when you're not playing Empire, because Minotaurs don't use gold that much. Okay, so there's nobody in this corner of the map. There's a Celestial Temple, that's interesting. You can get Archons if you want. Ooh, and this is a Plague Priest. This is the General of the Plague Army. Took a big hit from that guy. Oh, hey, we fucking did it. Let's go. Vorpal sword. Okay, so we lose. Hmm. We lose 10 whole damage. But we get more chance for a critical hit. Ultimately, I think that is worth it. Ultimately, I think that is worth it. What a lucky, lucky find. Alright. Uh, 
So even if nothing else of note happens this episode, I'm already happy because we uh Because we found something very important. I should have I should have destroyed this celestial temple. You know what? I can still queue up an order to do exactly that. And just destroy You are victorious. Uh, oh no, I accidentally right clicked. So we didn't we didn't get any of those things destroyed. But we do have the Vorpal sword. I wish we could, you know, dual wield. How awesome would that be? But no, we have to have something, either a shield or a, a banner in our offhand. And uh, I think stone skin is the way to go. Five armor, three life points. Great vein. We are completely full. Completely, completely full. So, uh, let's go to the jungle and let's sell the Ice Queen's Harp. And we'll just keep it like this, so, like only one free slot. Goblin Trader doesn't have anything. Right. Now we go to the Borderlands. And here's what I want to do. I want to go to a large skirmish. Yeah, let's do a large skirmish. Let's play as the Minotaurs again, because we're just scouting things out in uh, this episode. We're not gonna be doing a uh, a long battle. Not in this episode. So I'm um, because we're gonna be doing scouting. I'm gonna bring my Archon with me, and let's. Do it like this too, if you sure. It's a random map. So again, we want to. Ah, oh yeah. There's lots of hills in this map, which makes it hard to build, a, you know, a proper line of towers. Right. That's. That's the deal with this map. It's a fairly big map, though. Yeah, and our towers are in a weird position like two of them are down there we started up here our mines are up here so this map because of the fact that it has these hills and it just increases the chance of you getting screwed over by uh, map generation but anyway let's just put you two in there my faith is my shield. We get our mines. Wait, we've got two. So where's our... Our level 3 ore mine is all the way down here. So we did get screwed over. Even with our mine placement a little bit. Alright. The main thing I want to see in this map is... What enemies are we facing? I think I heard a couple of goblins get killed by something. Also, let's let's since it's right here, let's do a quest. No, I want something that we can complete straight away. I want something that we can hand in straight away. Quest this we have a better, better chance of being able to do. Oh my god. Yeah, see, the, the hills make this map really... Oh, what the fuck are you? A druid. Away! We did get a lucky assassination. Let's try and take you down as well. And we killed you, and we leveled up. We just have to keep getting strength 
getting more uh, getting more and more more damage, more combat, and more life. Alright, now let's get some this stuff. We'll take their mines. Yeah, it's not a great map, just because of all of the, uh, the uneven terrain. Makes it too difficult to work with. Now what we'll do is we'll go back, we'll... What? Oh no, I... I built another ziggurat when I really should have waited for the gold to pile up. But it, it won't take long for it to hit 500 again. Because we can start stacking up the mine as well. Yeah, that's one resignation. Not really a surprise. Hmm. I don't really see this as a viable map. For the kinds of battles we'd like. Oh, and... We've uh, gotten this. Alright, now let's continue onwards. The only thing that would make me possibly reconsider is if we have some amazing enemies, like the remaining ones are, I don't know, demons and barbarians and wood elves. But somehow I doubt it. What? Who's a what? Somebody's trying to convert our minds, I think? Yeah, whoa, 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 what are you? We do have a barbarian hero. We have a barbarian hero, which means we do have a barbarian opponent, so that's a good sign. And our barbarian opponent is right here. They also have. They also have a. a thing. Uh, quest building in their base, so let's see if we can maybe just hand in another, another quick quest. Thank you, a thousand stone. A thousand stone is a bit difficult to do right now. Twenty enemies is going to be too much. Six hundred crystal doable. Just go back to our base, and we're just gonna finish these guys off too. So we've got barbarians. What else? See the, the Your troops are under attack. Oh, what, what the, we've got it. We've got minotaurs. That's interesting. All right, let's. I mean, I. You, you know what? Where's is, where's is that archmage? I'll have my archon destroy this tower. It'll be quicker for him to get there. I'll have my Minotaur try and deal with this opposing Minotaur hero. This Your troops are under attack. Archmage. Oh, and he's got Minotaur King as well. He 
he did not last long, but draw the demon out, kill him quickly. The what? The Minotaur King and the Naga are on the same side? That's my faith is my unusual. Is under attack. All right. Your troops are under attack. An enemy has been vanquished. So we've got Minotaurs and And barbarians, which are both decent enemies. We've also, well, we've also got the Empire, it seems. Yeah, let's quickly destroy this Minotaur base. At this point, I'm just gonna destroy everything, trying to get a few extra spells to shoot off. Other stuff is being destroyed. They're they're attacking our base, I guess. Good job. And now they have resigned. Who else? There's some blue enemies. This is a uh, Death Knight. Tell you what, I'll raise the. Uh, level of my main keep. Yeah, at this point I'm just farming spells. We've got some undead. I don't know if they're native undead or if like some necromancer has summoned them, maybe. It does look like we have a proper necromancer as well okay so I think I need to start putting people into mines Let's start like that are under attack all right all right let's get this quest. 12 enemies is 12 enemies doable. I'd rather have something that we can do straight away. Like this. You also go directly to my base. And now we can just demolish this base. And yep, yeah, just. Get everything burned down to the ground. Casting spells along the way. Your troops are under attack. Our, Arch our Archon is still alive, that's good. Yeah, this Imperial is going to be pretty annoying. Alright, come on. Alright. Getting some nice spells out of all of this. And we'll just destroy this for good measure, and even this. And we've hit level. We've hit level 60, by the way, which means it's decision time. Are we gonna freeze our hero level or not? And I'll make the decision, I think, at the very end of this episode. 
for now, let's just run around causing some causing some havoc. Smashing everything. Ooh, we got another potential quest that we can do, which is great. Your buildings are under attack. And let's save scum until we get something that we can hand in immediately. Quest complete. That was easy. Alright. Let's get this tower dealt with. What's happening here? Oh, they're trying to kill our towers, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just go, I'm gonna go on a bit of a spree. A few buildings here to kill. And some more spells to farm up. Your buildings are under attack. And this quest has reset, but I think I'm just going to I'm just going to aim to end this mission by going back into this base and uh, just uh Killing their hero. Now we gotta go back and what? Are... God, they are persistent, aren't they? Right. Uh, kill these. Oh, left a tower there. We'll have to go back and kill it. And they've probably built another palace somewhere in the part of the map that I can't see. Hang on. Destroy this as well. And you. What are they doing? Guess I can try to fast repair this. Your buildings are under attack. And maybe they'll. be killed quicker than they can destroy the tower, especially if they start losing units, you know, cutting down their damage potential. Okay, there's their hero. Yes, yeah, so we've got to track you down, kill you. Yeah, you're building a palace. So, let's... Finish you off. You're a death knight, so you could. You, you might be. You could have been tough, but ultimately you were not. Right. Now before they resign, let's see if we can quickly do a quick quest. 
Perfect. And I think they're on the verge of resigning. So let's see if we can run around and do some quests. Well, if they're gonna be in, you know, crazy attacking random neutral mine kind of mode, well, they were for a while, but not long enough for us to get this quest done. But we've got, we've got quite a few. I'm happy with that. We scouted out this map and And ultimately, we decided that this is not a good map for a, um, us to be doing a long, mish like a, a long epic battle on. Just because the layout of the map, if it was a flat map where we could properly build our towers, uh, yeah, that would be good, but not... I tell you what, just to be thorough... But before we do this, I am actually going to freeze my hero level. Just because I don't want to level up anymore. I have uh, I said I'd do this at the end of the episode, but I've decided I'm doing it now. Let's see. Is the... And the only thing I'm going to look at in the medium and small ones is... Is it a flat map or does it also have these annoying... Uh, This one we can bring in our Minotaur King if we wanted to. Okay, no, this is also a really annoying map, so I'm just gonna resign. And then just for the sake of being thorough, small skirmish, surely it's also the same, but let's check. Hang on, this actually looks pretty flat. Or, like, are the, uh, are the hills out of sight? Or is this a properly flat map? And if it's properly flat, we're fighting, okay, we've got barbarians. We've got barbarians, good sign. And are those our only opponents, or do we have others? Barbarians and, it seems, Empire. I see. So we'd have to eliminate the Empire very... I guess we found a second Sword of Sir Aranok. I'll pick it up just to sell it. I, I was like... Hang on, I don't remember th throwing my sword on the ground, but no. We found a second one. So we have Barbarians, Empire, and who else? You know what I should do is uh, I should... Convert these mines, just so, like, if we are staying in this map for a while, then we can uh, have resources to hand in our missions. So I think we found, okay, we've got, we've got Undead and Empire. You are, what kind of a... Okay, I tell you what, let's eliminate this Undead enemy. Okay, for, let's do some quest, some questing. I think we actually can convert enemy buildings, and we'll do it like this. Yeah, we'll get some. Quests farmed up. Your buildings are under attack. 
Okay, some good units. I guess we can convert even more enemy buildings. Um, And this time we're gonna be huge dicks, so we're just gonna convert their base. Your buildings are under attack. And because they seemingly don't realize what we're doing, we're even able to do it like right under the nose of their hero. And let's eliminate these guys. An enemy hero has been destroyed. He is dead. We've got another moon shield. Hang on. Wasn't the moon shield one of our... You know, one of the items we got as a gift. So I guess it's not that unique after all. Let's farm up some spells, I guess. And then we can eliminate the barbarians, and then we can call it... And then we can call it an episode. Okay. And maybe hand in a couple more quests as well. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. <coughs> Well, first of all, let's kill this guy. You are a priest. And unfortunately for you, I hate the clergy, so I'm just gonna... He was about to land a critical hit, but we uh, killed him before that could happen. And let's just... Have we lowered the game speed? I think I might have accidentally lowered the game speed. Anyway, let's... Wait a second. I feel like... My hero's... At Maybe I'm just imagining it, but I feel like my hero's attack speed is lower for some reason. Uh, 16 foes is not going to happen. Quest Convert three buildings we can do literally standing right here. Yeah, this... I'm, I'm glad we didn't just assume that the small map was the same as the others because then we would have missed out this wonderful map against a pretty good opponent too all right so now let's do this one yeah and okay it, i was just imagining it we haven't lost any attack speed i think what happened was i must have just accidentally lowered the game speed and then that threw me off. Alright. Now let's kill these guys. And we know who we're fighting in next episode's epic battle. Actually, no, let's... Draw it out just a little bit, get a few more spells cast. even Spell 
Maybe complete another quest? No, I don't think it's... Either of these are gonna... Well, they might. They might. Let's... Let's smash this stuff. And then I think we can... Maybe do another quest. Because, yeah, this is getting pretty, pretty close. So is that. And we do need to do a bunch of quests for our titles. So let's get those worked on a little bit. Right, what are you... 12 enemies, not gonna happen. Just ask for resources, any kind of resource. Ah, uh, no, the enemy buildings are too far away. Uh, nope, just give me the kind of quest where I can just finish it immediately. Not, not that. Come on, be reasonable. There we go. Quest complete. There we go. Uh, we might as well wait for this one as well. Just because it's so close. Might as well. Any second now? Two. One. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And now we're just gonna end this map. Smashing everything we come across along. I guess we can make a minor detour to smash this. Could have gotten a spell out of it. We didn't. We're halfway towards level 61, but we are going to be permanently stuck. Because I have chosen to freeze my hero's level. Because I felt like the heroes we were fighting were getting a little bit too dangerous. And I'm, I'm pretty confident in that assessment. Some of the warriors that we were fighting were taking quite a while to kill, and because they were taking so long to kill, they were landing some pretty big hits on us. Like, the non-combat heroes, like no merchants or chieftains, we can take down pretty easily. Even, like, even if they sent a level 200 merchant at us, in combat we could take him down pretty easily. Merchants have other advantages that make them tough opponents, but in single combat, obviously, a merchant is going to get killed by an assassin, or a warrior, or, or a paladin, or just about any other combat-oriented hero. And you know what? Because we're almost at another... Uh, you know, round of quests, we'll do these two and and then we'll end these guys. And then we'll end these guys. Alright. Come on, give me something good. Perfect. And we'll do one more here. Perfect. And we'll just finish you. And we will win. So that was pretty productive. Productive session. Quite a bit happened in this episode. We'll have a bit of recapping to do. 
We are victorious. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the market in Syria. Let's sell this extra copy of Sir Aranok's sword, which isn't as expensive as you might expect. And let me also check my item stash. Moon shield? Was that... Uh, I wish we'd kept that, because we're holding on to this because I thought this might be like a an item that you can only get as a quest reward, but if you can also just find it randomly on the ground, then there's no point holding on to it, right? But I don't... I tell you what, when I look back through the footage, I'll be able to tell you whether this is true. Right now, I can't say for sure, but if it turns out that this is the same item that dropped on the ground during that battle, then in the next episode, I'll sell the moon shield. For now, let's just hold on to it, because we don't urgently need any space. Okay, so that's that dealt with. And now, let's recap what happened in this episode. We started off just doing some battles in Kozbarak against the plague, and in one of them, we found something that I had actually spent some time specifically farming for, the Vorpal Sword. Which is very, very good. We lost some damage. Uh, like, 10 damage, that's a lot to lose, but an extra 5% chance to crit is pretty huge, and more than makes up for that. And we also found a second Sword of Sir Aranok, just... Because I guess today is our lucky day. But even luckier than that, we found out that the small skirmish in the borderlands is a good one for us to do because it is a flat map which has one of the enemies that we like fighting uh, the barbarians we like fighting the barbarians and the demons and possibly the wood elves maybe though the wood elves i'm less sure about but the barbarians and the demons are great because they don't have any long-range siege weapons, and they don't have any units that are resistant to normal arrows. So they are great for just setting up your defenses and letting waves and waves and waves of them come at you, and then eventually dragons as well, and then they'll build, they'll build their titan, and so on. So a good map to have an epic battle. We'll see how that epic battle goes next episode. For now, let's take a look at our hero's statistics. We've frozen our hero level at level 60, so it's gonna be like this for at least the foreseeable future. I might unfreeze the hero level uh, later on, but for now we're just gonna keep it at 60, and these are our... Uh, that's, Mighty Blow is still giving us a slightly glitchy number because it's... Because of... Because of this item that we have equipped, which is giving us plus 4 damage, the game thinks we have 2 more points in Mighty Blow than we actually do. So if I unequip it, and then I go to uh, the hero skills, now it's correctly telling us that we have 10 points in Mighty Blow, which we actually do but when we equip this the game will get confused I guess because they scripted this slightly not correct it's the thing that it's telling you is something different than the actual ranks of mighty blow but anyway that's something we've talked about before no reason to dwell on it the only thing we haven't talked about yet is our titles. Oh, we didn't we didn't rank up in anything. I was hoping we'd be a uh, rank 50. But I mean, we completed some quests. We cast a bunch of spells. We killed a bunch of heroes. Maybe 300 is when the next rank is going to unlock. We fought some battles, we won some battles. And we are well placed for next episode's epic battle 
where we go back to the Borderlands and see if we can uh, finally have a good long battle against the Barbarians. But for now, that is going to be all for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun one. It was an exciting one because uh, we found some cool items as well. Yeah, I hope you had a good time and I hope you'll join me for the next episode as well. And until then, take care.